to home, the freezing temperatures have many people changing their morning routines sooner than expected. Families and schools have to make sure that kids are safe. NBC 26's Brooke Hafes is live in Ashwaubenon with a closer look and a few tips for the parents this morning, Brooke. Breathe the sign outside Valley View Elementary School here is telling me that it's 10 degrees, but trust me, it feels a lot colder. The wind chills are making it feel below zero, and those temperatures are dangerous. So those of you bundling up your kids for school this morning, most important thing to remember is to dress your kids for the weather. Now, while these temperatures are not cold enough to force delays and cancellations just yet, school leaders say kids need to dress in layers and wear hats and mittens while they walk to school or wait for the bus. Most of your body heat is lost through your head. So so you have to make sure your ears are covered. Dressing in layers will help retain that heat. Kids are at the greatest risk for frostbite or hypothermia while waiting outside for the bus or at recess. I get up like 4.30 in the morning just to get prepared to make sure the kids are good. I'm ready so I'm not rushing out or forgetting something. School officials say it needs to be 30 degrees and higher for students to go outside for recess. After school, kids must stay inside until their parents or buses arrive. Now, and with the cold weather arriving early this year, experts say now is the time to get ready for winter. Many tow companies are already working overtime. The main issue, dead car batteries. Ray's Towing recommends drivers get their car winterized. We're here like a doctor if you need us. I don't wish anything on anyone. But it's basic preventive maintenance. Have batteries checked. Go to some reputable mechanic, someone you can trust. Have your car checked out. Heating companies are also swamped dealing with broken furnaces, so make sure to get yours checked before it's too late. Now, for the latest forecast and weather resources, you can head to our website, NBC26.com. Of course, you can download our app. It's free. Live in Ashwaubenon, Brooke Hafes, NBC26. Thank you, Brooke. And one group looking forward.